My name is Chloe, and today I'll be showing you guys some books that I've read and I am currently reading. So the first one, I just have a, I just have like a whole stack of book here, books, but one, it is, what I think about reading is you have to find the time every day or just find the time. For me, the time is before I go to bed, and yeah, before I go to bed, and I have to do reading log, because I go to school, it's part of my homework, but I don't think it as homework, though. Little suggestion, don't think it as homework, but I still don't have some things I've read from the very beginning, and that is kind of annoying. Oh, okay, so, Sorry, and I am going to use um, some stuff from my iPad. Where is it? Like from my reading log because I logged everything I've read because I do not have every book in front of me right now. So let's start off with reading log. Go to Google Classroom. Lovely Google Classroom. School. Work, but I have reading log right here. If you can see it, reading log, click it, and then I have okay. So the first day of school, okay. I do have this book, I believe. I don't know where it went. But I totally forgot about this book until now. So that is great. Yeah, it is not near my premises right now. Or that I know of. That's not... Okay. Sorry, guys. Like, I do not have every single book in the world with me right now that I've read um, this year so far. Or not this year. Like, 2021 and 22, 2022 so far. Um, so, I read James and the Giant Peach. If it will focus. It says James and the Giant Peach. And then, I read it. And then, I've read, I do have it in my room with me. Super Fudge. If you don't know, this is um, by Judy Bloom. But James and the Giant Peach is by Roald Dahl. I know a lot of... Um, people have read his books, Char Charlie and the Chocolate Fountain, Willy Wonka, and stuff like that. Oh, no, it's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, but they made, like, another character, but, okay, yeah. You get it? I read Super Fudge, James and the Giant Peach, and Super Fudge, and then I read, let's just start off with the summer. So, in the summer, I found this series that I absolutely loved well, it's not really a series but um i had a, a pond that we were a part of or a part of like we had a subscription and so we went to the pond a lot and so that's the time that i read in summer in the summer and it gave me excuse to not go on my ipad or watch youtube so i would read a lot so Let's do it in order that I read it. So I have Sisters. This is the first book by Rena Tillmaker. Uh, Sisters. It, and it was perfect for the age group I was in, to be honest. And then I read Smile. I know this is like a little off. Then I read Drama. And I probably, I read this in one day. I probably read this in like three or two days. Maybe even one. I don't remember how fast I read these, but I read them like two, three, one days. But I do remember I read this in one day. Because I didn't go at the water in all, at all. Well, I did, but like, not a lot. Like, 
there were several times where I didn't go in the water. Or or I would like just get my feet cold, feet wet. But yeah. And then after and then I read Guts in the summer as well. I just read the whole series, you guys. And then in the summer, oh, not in the summer, then in the school time after I finished um, Super Fudge, after I finished James and the Giant Peach, Super Fudge, I finally had the chance to get Ghost. And it took me a little bit to find it, first of all, too. I would have found this faster, or I could have found it um a little quicker if i found it quicker i would be able to read this in the summer but it's okay a good book uh by rena tailmaker all of the books that i just showed you guys were from rena tailmaker and these were the orders i read them in so my reading log is helping because this is like like really the only time i read is at night okay and then i just have some books that i want to read and so, right there, that just makes a big stash already. Like, all my Rena Tillmaker books kind of already make a big stash, which is okay. Oh, you got to read from the bottom. I'm sorry, you guys. I have to reconfigure here. Okay. No, that still makes no sense. So now we need sisters at the bottom, then smile, guts, smile, guts, drama, ghost. Okay. And then, like, I might not have every single book I read in the world. Okay. Oh, sadly, um, this was a library book um, from my school library. It's called Out of My Mind. It is such a good book. I'll put a picture of it here. And I forget who it's by, but you guys can read uh, the thing. But it's such a good book. Um, It took me a while. It's a big book. It's very thick. And it's 295 pages, about, I think. So it took me, like, one month, two months, three months, it took me three months to read. It was really thick, and the words are so small. So one page was like a, a lot of words. And then currently what I'm reading is Christy and the Snobs, the Babysitter Graphic Babysitter Club Graphic Novel 10. 10. It is 10. And then... After this, I want to get the 11th, but after this, it's, like, this book is really, these, like, because it's similar to, like, drama and ghosts and smile and sisters, but it's, not, it like, the first couple were by Rena Tillmaker and someone else, sorry, and by, um, Cha by Marianne and Martin, and Rena Tillmaker as the drawer. And, I don't know. But, then, um, the rest are by Ching Cha, and the, based on the novel Anne M. Martin. But, you, you get it. And so, for Christmas, I got this bookmark. If you did not watch that, Christmas, I, for Christmas, I got this bookmark, but... That is currently, and then this is what I plan to do. Like, since I want to take a little break from really big books. So, reading The Babysitter Club just gives me a nice little break. Each page is easy, and um, it's easy, the pages, and um, what else can I say? It's easy, the pages, and it's just a shorter book in general. And so, I want to do two of them, the 10th and 11th. I'm going to probably, I want to order the 11th on Amazon. Um, you know. So, because they're easy. And then, after I hopefully read 10th and 11th one, I want to read this Roll Doll one. And it's, it's Roll Doll. 
Matteron. And then, yeah, that's all I gotta say. And then I want to order the roll doll, the BFG. So that way I can read all of it, all of his books. Or the world number storytellers, like that he has on the back, like the F the BFG and James and the Giant Peach, I read that, and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, I also read that. So all I need to read is that one and this, and then I will do that, you know? And then my sister gave me these two books, so I was like, sure, why not read it? Bridge to Tabitha by Kathleen Princeton. And this is just the things I want to read. Um, for the course of the school year and like in the summer when I have, if I hopefully rejoin it, cause I was really happy. Cause I also, that mean I did summer reading and I was like, yes. And I, it was, it just, when you do summer reading, it just get, puts a good um, impression. So, I mean, I don't mind it. Then my sister also gave me this book, which is gonna, Again, it is shorter than Out of My Mind, 186 pages, way shorter, but the words might be smaller and the pages are pretty much longer. So, it's called Star Girl, and by Jeremy Springer. I'm sorry if I mispronounce any of these, but yeah, and then I can do like my library book. Or this might go on till summer reading. Who knows? But until I finish all of these, I could read like a library book or if there's like Babysitter 12, 13. Um, I'll probably read those in the summer. But yeah, I know this video is short. I do want to just get a video out for you guys. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like, and I'll see you, and I'll see you guys next time.